Hey, you said you wanted to talk? Sorry, I've been so busy today. The gang has been causing so much chaos lately, and I have to keep correcting all of their wrongs. They're such a pain sometimes. Is it really so hard to follow some rules? I swear they wouldn't know how to respect a rule if it slapped them in the face. Enough about me. What's up? How are you doing? You seem really quiet and even a little sad. Did something happen? Yeah, of course I'll listen to you. I'm your girlfriend, after all. I'm here for you through anything that's going on. I know I can be serious and uptight at times, but no matter what, you're going to be my priority. It's about that? About me being serious? Oh, about me being your girlfriend? What do you mean? Is that what you wanted to talk about? Hey, hey, don't cry. Just tell me what's bothering you. Please? I want to be able to help you. Shh. Try and breathe, okay? You're not going to be able to explain through tears. Well, I suppose you can, but it'll be easier if you're in a calmer and more relaxed state. You feel ready now? Okay. Tell me what's on your mind. You want to break up? That... That was something I really wasn't expecting. I just don't really understand why. What is making you feel this way? I am away a bit, but I have to be there for the gang. I'm their deputy leader. I know they should be able to take care of themselves. I shouldn't have to make all the wrongs into rights, but as someone they look up to, I want to be able to be there for them and to help them do the right thing. I feel the same with you. I want to be here for you and be able to cheer you up when you're sad, comfort you when you need me, and everything else. I didn't mean to make you feel like I was abandoning you for anyone else. You are the one I cherish the most. Even if I cherish other people or other things... You're always going to be at the top of that list. I would never be able to replace you. You're one of the best things that has ever happened to me, and I can't imagine losing you. It honestly hurts so much that this is even happening. I'm not angry with you. I'm just... devastated. I felt like things were going well. I really don't understand is all. If you're frustrated with me, you have to tell me, baby. I'm not going to realize in every instance. Sometimes you mask how you truly feel and that only makes things more confusing. I want to be able to assure you and to make you comfortable, but... That means we both have to be clear with one another. I want you to feel that you can come to me about anything. I don't want you to be afraid of me. Even if it's something really bad. Something you feel too scared to share. I assure you, anything you tell me will always be safe with me. I don't want to try and change your feelings. If you really think breaking up is the best thing for us, then I want to be able to support you in that decision. What do you mean? Me? I told you it's devastating for me to hear this, even if I'm happy you opened up. I feel sad at the thought of us no longer being together. 
You've truly helped me so much. I feel I've been able to grow as a person because of you. You always believe in me, and it helps me keep going. I know we can always stay friends, but most of the time, even friendship doesn't work out afterwards. I just have to live and learn. Learn to be able to move on. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make you feel guilty. I just can't help but feel sad about it is all. Please, it's okay. No need to coddle me. I'm going to be alright. Hmm? What do you want to talk about? You don't want things to end like this. I don't really understand. You want us to try and fix things, but you just suggested breaking up. Now I'm really confused. Setting up boundaries? I see no problem in that. In fact, I think that would be really beneficial. I don't want to make you uncomfortable, especially anymore. Again, I'm really sorry for not being around a lot. Sometimes I just get so absorbed in the gang's activities that I lose track of time. It's no excuse. I want to be able to spend more time with you and make you feel more comfortable about us. Maybe we could come up with a better schedule. I want both of us to be aware of when the other is available so we can make time together. Creating a calendar together with our availability could be beneficial. Then we know when one of us is busy with activities or work. You would want to do that? I don't mean to sound pushy or demanding, of course. I'm trying to brainstorm ideas that could be helpful for the two of us. I'm happy that you think it would help, too. It just... It hurts me so much when I see you so sad and upset like this. All I want to do is assure you that things are going to be okay. We're going to be okay. I want to be able to change things for the better. For both of us. We'll be happy, yeah? Even if we're going through a hard time right now, we just have to keep pushing hard to get things back to a steady pace. Again, I'll assure you as many times as I need that I'll be here for you. I'll listen to anything you want or need to get off your chest. Always, always I will be here. Don't be afraid to come to me. Anything you tell me will always be mine, and mine alone. I see no reason for me to tell others because it's private matters. I promise, okay, baby? Oh, is it okay for me to still call you that? I don't know if it's weird for me to say that right now. It's okay? That makes me feel better. I was worried about making you feel uncomfortable. I know you're hesitant right now, and I want to make sure that I'm helping you and treating you well. Is it okay if I hold you? I know I was earlier, but this time I'm more aware of what's going on. It's okay? Good, just stay close, hmm? Everything will be okay. I have to try harder. We both have to. We're gonna make this work, and we're going to be happier. We shouldn't let hardship get us down. This will make us stronger. It will make us feel more united if we can work through this. I promise, baby. Here, let me hold you and caress your sweet head. You can cry as much as you need to. I don't mind if you get my shirt wet or even snotty for that matter. 
What matters is that you can calm down and relax. I'm here. I'm here, baby. How are you, baby? Feeling better? Oh, your face is so red. Hold on. Let me grab you a tissue. I'll be back in one moment, okay? Here, let me wipe your face, hmm? Is that alright for me to do? Alright, since it's okay, I'm gonna wipe your tears and some of your snot, too. Hey, if you giggle, I won't be able to focus. I'm kidding, only kidding. I mean, it would be easier if you held still, but seeing you giggle is all I need right now. It makes me happy to be able to see a smile on your face again. I mean it. It makes me happy to see your smile. You have a lovely smile, you know? It really broke my heart to see you so distraught earlier. It felt like my whole world fell apart right before my eyes. That sounds really cheesy, especially coming from me, but I mean it. I hope I never make you feel like that ever again. I want to see you smile all the time. Perhaps not when you're sleeping, though. That would be quite terrifying, actually. But make sure not to break those smile muscles. You seem like you're doing a lot better now. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Are you sure? If you're sure, we can move on. Well, not move on. Obviously, that's something we're going to have to sink in, but for now, let's try and relax. You seem really tired, especially after all of that. Do you want to get ready for bed? It is a little late right now. You want to get some rest? You want to sleep together? Oh, of course, baby. If it makes you feel comfortable and safe, I'll do whatever you would like. Let's change into some pajamas, yeah? There we go. Now we're all nice and comfy. Let's hop into bed. You can hold on to me all night if you want. I'll never let you go.